So the combined elevation test is a great objective test to look for strength and flexibility in through the shoulder and also in through the thoracic spine. So to perform this test we have the patient laying on their tummy, this can also be on the treatment table, having the arms in the overhead position, thumbs pointing up and simply elevating and raising up as high as they can. And what we do is we just measure the distance that they can raise, left and right, and then drop down for us there. We can also look at to see if the, the limitation is actually due to a flexibility or if it's a strength issue. So we can actually repeat the same test again and raising up as high as they can and then really passively raising up then the, as high as you can. If you can increase that range, it suggests that there's a strength issue. If there's no change in that range, then it may, may be a mobility issue that you're looking at there. Um, to make this more swimming specific, we can get them in, an, in a streamlined position, so having the hands overlapped and again raising up for us there. So normal for distance swimmers is to have the arms raised above the ears, drop down for us there. For that initial position, the, the normal we want to see for that is upwards of 20 centimetres and no more than 10% asymmetry from side to side. 